Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to Resident Evil. This is the HD remaster version on PS4. The game first came out in 1996, 19 years ago. I was only 7 years old back then, so I didn't really play the game that much. I was a bit young for this type of game and um, I played it here and there at friends' houses. But um, the game then came out again on GameCube as a remastered version and now it's come out for a third time as a HD remastered version. So, we're going to jump into this. Resident Evil. I have played the more recent versions of Resident Evil, you know, 4, 5 and 6, but as you guys probably know, they're completely different to what the game used to be like. You know, they're a lot more modernised, so I'm going to leave all those options to more modernised controls there and wide display, leave the subtitles on. So we've got a question here, how do you like your games? We've got, that's pretty much hard, like climbing a mountain. Like, like like going on a hike, that's medium, taking a walk, that's easy. I'm going to go for the middle option because I haven't got a lot of experience and older games, like a lot harder than today's games, you know, there's no checkpoints, um, it's all manual saves and you're limited to the amount of saves you can actually do. You need to go to specific places, all that stuff, so it's hardcore. Got to go on medium. And here we get to pick our character. We've got Chris Redfield. And Jill Valentine. I think Jill starts with a gun, whereas Chris only has a knife. So we're going to go with Jill to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Although the pistol isn't really that effective, you know, against zombies. So here we go. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team. Who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre yeah, murder cases have cases. recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way.
There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. And we've got the old school doors again for the loading screens. But they don't, you don't really need these anymore because the games load a lot faster than they did on the PlayStation 1. A dining room. It seems so shocked that there's a dining room in a mansion, you know? <laughs> so right here, this item right here, ink ribbon. You will take this ink ribbon, yes. Will you take it, I mean. That is used to save the game. And you have a typewriter here. They are um, You can find typewriters throughout the mansion. You can see this is an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the ink ribbon. I'm not going to use it right now because I've only got three ribbons. And um, once you've run out of ribbons, you can't save anymore. So I need to save them. You know, but if I do die, you only go back to your last save. So if I died now, the game wouldn't have any progress saved. So I'd have to start again. So um, we're going to inspect this gunshot that we heard. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. There used to be a line he'd say, where he'd go, I hope this isn't Chris's blood. And it was very, like, cheesy, you know, in the 90s. My friend always quoted it to me whenever we talk about Resident Evil games. So we're going to carry on and inspect um, more while he looks at the blood and sticks his fingers in it. There's a door here we can go through. Now, guys, I don't know... If you remember, but this is the first encounter with the zombie. I will never forget this corner, how it looks, you know? It's just, you know what's coming if you played the game before. They've kept it quite similar to the PlayStation 1 version. So, um,. Let's, if you look at our inventory right here, we've only got 15 bullets with the pistol. And it does take quite a few bullets to kill zombies, you know, it's pretty weak, the pistol. So um, we're going to fall back and save our, we're gonna save our bullets for bosses and stuff and times when we need to clear the room to get items that are blocked by zombies. So let's head back towards um, Barry and tell him what we found. <laughs> Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! You'd think that'd destroy him, wouldn't you? Look at the size of the hand cannon. Barely took, like, damage them. Is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. So, he was eating Kenneth, he wasn't eating Chris. Um, I don't know who Kenneth was. I'm guessing he was a guy that went missing originally. You know, he wasn't a part of this, this team that we're in now. So we're going to report back to Wesker. He's in the great in the hall. Um. Okay. I think that was a zombie getting back up and leaving, <laughs> or maybe another zombie somewhere else. Wesker. Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Okay, so already we've lost another person, Wesker. He said don't leave the hall, so we're going to check around um, behind all the pillars and like, corridors in the hall. So... Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, 
Nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Okay, thank you. So... Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. So we came in with three people. We lost one guy already. And now we're separating again. Which is not really smart, I don't think. He said if anything happens, we'll meet up in the Great Hall. In the hall? I keep calling it the Great Hall, I don't know why. So he said let's check the first floor. In American terms, that's the ground floor in England. First floor is what the Americans call the second floor. So I'm going to expect he's talking about the ground floor. <laughs> if that makes sense to you guys. Um, so we're going to inspect around here. And um, there's something flashing inside this vase. This statue. So it's a woman drawing water. Um, I don't know what we can use. I'm guessing we can use the lockpick to um, pick doors or something. Alright, we can push in um, cabinets. I'm going to push this a little bit. And see if I can get behind it and then push it again. Here we go. Because you can't pull in this game. You can only push. I guess you're wondering why I know quite a few things about the game. I have played the first, like, ten minutes. Like, not far beyond this. So we're going to um, see if we can grab this. Here we go. There's a map of the mansion 1F, take it, yes. I don't think that uses any inventory slots, because you do have limited the inventory in this game. So right there, um, it's flashing red. That's where we are, where, where it's flashing, and um, when you find all the items in a room, it goes green. So there are still items to be found here. You got the map of the mansion 1F. Um, let's drop down. Now, there's a reason why I'm pushing this back over here and you'll find out soon enough okay so now we can go around into this room yeah. so will you take the dagger yes now I'm not always gonna say yes to the items because you've got look if you look at the right hand side of the screen you can see there's only how many slots are there? there's eight slots we've got we've got three used already the dagger is a defensive item, it, that's pretty much what this is telling you here. If you get attacked by a zombie from the front, you will stab the zombie with a defensive item. Or, or if you get attacked from behind, you won't, you can't use it. But um, it stops you from taking damage if you do come into a situation where you are going to get bit. And here we have a lovely zombie. So this guy is pretty tall, like Andre the Giant, look at him. So uh, let's guide him around. Just, let's go around them. Let's go around them. Oh no, we didn't. Okay. So we're going to use the defensive item. I was hoping to save that. But it um, looks like he grabbed us. Well, he did grab us. Now let's get through the door. Um, go around it. Here we go. And I'm going to push this chest of drawers. The controls are a bit fiddly, you know, um, maneuvering through the game when the camera changes because your controls are going to change because the character's standing in a different position. So he's locked in there now, we don't need to go back in there. I've saved bullets, I did use the knife, which I didn't really want to. Um, what have we got here? So we've got a door, it's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. So we need to find a key, or a, sh a key that's shaped like a sword or something, to unlock that. So we're going to fall back. We've got everything that we can find in that specific area. We can't go any further. Now let's check these doors. Okay, this one's locked. Emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. So we need to find a different key for that one. Um, he said check the ground floor, didn't he? The first floor. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. I'm gonna guess is like a female zombie. That sounded like. <laughs> All right, so we can't actually go there. Actually, can we? It just told us what was wandering behind it. Is it locked? 
The octagonal are the indentations to the right and left of the door. Okay, it's, it's not really letting us open the door. I'm guessing you need to put something inside those um, indentations. So the only other doors to go through on the ground floor is back in the dining room. And I think that's where Barry went to inspect. So um, let's head back through the door where we found the first zombie. Um, yeah, the zombies moved. That noise we heard before was a zombie getting up. Did we inspect anything? Oh, hey, look at this. Will you take the emblem? Um, yeah, okay. So that's going to be a puzzle piece. From this data screen, you can select an item and select examine command. Details of the item will be displayed. Okay. So if we look at this emblem, we examine it. You can see it's an emblem. <laughs> There's not much more to be said about it. We can check it with X. It's gold out all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Okay. So maybe we can place that into something else, like a wall somewhere, and it'll open up a secret door, maybe. So this is where we found the first zombie. We're going to go back in here. Now, the zombie... We, sh we, d we didn't kill him. We shot him. Barry shot him. Dropped him. And it looks like the zombie's moved on, so it's not dead. Said so the corpse of your com comrade, C Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what what's recorded on it. I don't think we're going to see much on that. Probably just him getting eaten alive. And now we can hear a zombie. Not sure where he's coming from. We can open this door. Look at that camera angle. You've got no idea what's in front of you. <laughs> it looks good, but it's um, it's not very good for the player. Okay, so what we got a handgun magazine right here. I think uh, maybe we should take this. Yeah, yeah, go on. Why not? I mean, because then we got extra ammo. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor, like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in, in this mansion? So it looks like he might have fell from the top of the stairs. Um, there are plants here. You can pick up these plants, and they are used to heal you. I think you can combine them to make like a super herb, like make it really he heal for more health. I'm gonna actually try that, I think. If I go on it, because you, when you click on an item, you have options, use, examine, and combine. So we're gonna combine it. Yeah, look at that, now we've got mixed herbs. If we examine this, um, yeah, don't really need to look at it. A mixture of two green herbs. So I think that kind of frees up inventory slots as well as healing for more, of course. Um, There's a bird cage here, what's in here? A large bird cage. There's a dead raven inside. Okay. Um, let's go upstairs then. I think there's a few places we haven't discovered, um, explored on the ground floor as well. Still, I can see some zombie feet on the floor in front of me. <laughs> That's not good. Um, more plants on the ground there. What's my inventory looking like? Yeah, I'm going to leave that there for now. I don't want to pick up two... Ooh, look at that mirror. Okay, there's a zombie over there. He also aim. That's interesting. See that? It spins me around. Is this door? Door's locked from the other side. Looks like a zombie maybe walking towards us now. Although, if that's a reflection, that means he's turned away. Um, let me walk around him. He doesn't seem to be too interested in us. What's this? Will you take the golden arrow? That looks useful, so yes. There's more ammo on the ground. I'm gonna leave that there for now. I might come back to it if I need to get more ammo, because I don't want to fill up my inventory. Um, you unlocked it. What about this door? Okay, that one's locked from the other side. So if we go through the door... Okay, now we're upstairs. There's a zombie around here. There he is. So we're gonna not kill him again, just to save ammo. I mean, there are times when you need to use weapons to clear the room, I think, sometimes. And also for boss fights. What's this? So if I pick this dagger up, will it fill up an infantry slot? 
I think there's only one way to find out, isn't it? At this point in the game, we may as well check that out. No, okay, so... We've got, I think, have we got two of them now? Or we've just got one? Actually, we used it, didn't we? As soon as we picked up the last one, we used it. Okay. Now, with this statue, I have seen be moved in a different, in a review, review video. I believe you have to knock it off the edge. Here we go. So I'm not just vandalizing the place, I am doing that for a reason. Because it had the gem in its hand, and it was too high to reach. I'm going to see if I can get through this door before he gets to us. Here we go. <laughs> so this should lead us back into the Great Hall. The Great, it's not called the Great Hall, Mike. Why do I keep calling it the Great Hall? <laughs> it's called the Hall. I think I'm thinking of like Game of Thrones or something, you know, Great Hall. So let's go downstairs and um, get to this gem that should have dropped. It should be in the di it should be in the dining room. Here we first found the blood. Here we go. Here's the statue. We were just upstairs, so you can pick up this gem. Will you take the blue gemstone? Oh god, that's my last slot now for the inventory. Let's say yes. Actually, we didn't. What is this? Um, we should examine these things. Golden arrow. Check. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Okay. Didn't ask me if I wanted to do that. I guess that's what you meant to do. Um, check. The arrowhead is made from per peridot. I don't know how you pronounce that, sorry. Sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. And if we examine this piece. Blue gemstone. Check it. It's beautiful, cut and polished. Cool. So we've got a few items here. We've got a shield, that arrowhead, and a blue gemstone. I think we're going to end it here, guys, because we're running short on time. We're going to go back in there the next part, I think, and go down the other side of the corridor, because we went left, you know, kind of, as soon as you go in. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.